The music is kind of sick. I like the music. What did the plate whisper to the other plate? Dinner is on me. <sighs> Basically, Boeing made a spaceship, but screwed up the compatibility with NASA stuff. <laughs> Boeing again? I saw Boeing in one of the headlines, but I didn't really continue reading because I figured it was going to be a, a Boeing moment. They had thruster issues. Relatable. It happens, guys. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There wasn't a lot of faith that they could go on and get it back home. Ah, okay, I see. Four out of nine failed on the way up. Okay, okay, I see. How are you doing, Bio? Hope life is treating you well. Okay, here's my... I need 640 of these things? Okay, that's a lot more than I realized. Oh, I also need to get these. Oh, okay, well, good thing that I was already working on that. But where was I working on it? Right over here. Ah, nice. You're flying to Bulgaria? Sweet. Biomove is right. Several thrusters were operating outside of acceptable parameters. Okay. I feel like space travel has not, like, been as dangerous as it, you know, you'd imagine it would be. Because it sounds absolutely terrifying. But they have so many safety procedures that it seems like it's... Relatively manageable. I mean, obviously there's a fuck ton of money going on, but... It's impressive. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's a lot of trial and error. A lot of those procedures were created because, you know, shit didn't go well. But still. Um. Yeah, right. I need to still rotate these things. Hold up. Oh, I can just right mouse button. That's even easier. Oh, I didn't even realize I could just right mouse button it. Huge. The fatality rate of an astronaut dying professionally is 3%. Is that every number since like the 1960s or whatever? Yeah, okay. So about 700 people have gone up, about 30% of people died. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Or 30 people rather. But the thing is that early astronauts obviously are not quite up to the same level as what, you know, is the norm in 2024. It's still kind of nuts though, like how relatively safe it seems to be these days. Very impressive. Obviously, people train for ages and ages and ages, and it, you know... 
But still, all of the considerations. Okay, so that should give me that second shape I need for the milestone. And then I'm gonna have to merge these two together. So we're gonna have to split these off and then create the final shape for the milestone. That'll take a while to run. Okay. Um, what? Oh, it's this shape right over here. Okay. So this is also completely unnecessary now. It was always engineering fault. Right. Fucking engineers. Am I right? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hold up. About half of my stream viewers are engineers. Don't roast the engineers, okay? Engineers have never made mistakes. <laughs> never. Flawless human beings. Okay. Then we connect these over here. Can I already make him? Would it be a waste for me to already make him right now? Because I need this for the next step. Wait, is this even the correct shape? It's not. It needs to be the other way around. Is this the correct shape? I think it is. I've gone a little bit ahead of myself. Ru ru ru, ru ku ru ku ku ku. Okay, we're gonna have to do some copy paste our comparisons. Oh, I can't. Okay, no, we have to wait a little bit. I'm fairly sure this is the right shape. Is that the right shape? No. The thing on top needs to rotate once. These things have to be rotated once, I think. Um, I think? <laughs> it's kind of difficult. Some of these shapes are hard to read. There you go. Spaghetti is lovely. I'm a little ahead of schedule, Dino Hunter. It's fine, though. I don't know if it's already going to count towards the next milestone. So I'm trying to make this. I think it'll count. Yep. It's counting already. Cool. So it keeps all the shapes inside of the vortex, I guess. That's kind of neat. Yeah, nothing wastes. That's, that's kind of nice. Nothing gets wasted. Okay, um... So I have that shape somewhere, but I don't know if I've already destroyed it since. Because I ran out of space. No, it's this one right over here. Yes. That's this one right over here. Um... We need that for this thing. And then I need to add a little half to it. Is 
The factory is shaping up well. Yeah, it's doing okay. I'm just gonna cut off over here and we'll create like a, an exit point over there so it doesn't keep flowing. So it should back up. Um, we cut these guys into halves. And then we just merge these together. A little bit of spaghettiing. Excellent. These have to be rotated. Twice. And then these get merged. I haven't actually merged like that before. That's what she said. No. Um. With two of these different halves. There we go. So that should be the shape that I need for one of my objectives. It's a little ugly, but it'll work. I think. That should be the right shape over here. There we go. That should be one. Yep. Okay. Should I do every single side quest here? I don't know how much of a necessity they are. You get upgrades from them, so I guess it is nice. Rotates shapes 90 degrees counterclockwise. Do I ever use that? I guess I should get my stacking done first. This is um, probably more useful. You think the Swapper is the best item to unlock? The Swapper... Swaps the west halves of two shapes. Okay. Yeah, this game is neat. For 20 bucks, it seems like if you're into factory builders, right? If you've played Factorio or Dyson Sphere, this game seems like a bit of a no-brainer. May not necessarily be your jam. It's a little different, but... Yeah, exactly. Instead of three rotates, I would only need one. Uh, it doesn't sound that compelling to me right now. Um, so that shape is doing quite well. We only need a few more. It's hard to find the overlap sometimes between these different shapes. If I had more space, I could very easily build all of this. But I'm just... I don't know. I don't want to destroy anything, because these things are... Some of the stuff is actually being used. I'm hoping that the way that this works, right? And I don't know if it does work like that, but I'm hoping that if I... Go to another platform, I can start again from scratch or something? And we can kind of just, like go anywhere and just do it again from a, a clean slate and then I can go back here at a later time if I want to but I don't need to go here? I'm not sure though. Maybe everything has to be combined? There are these like arrow shapes. I'm not sure what that means. But we'll find out I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of different colors. So these are different colored blocks. I guess I can build like miners on top of those? I don't know. There's something in the mist. Let's 
Yeah, I have built a very messy setup here. It's better for me to uh, not touch anything for now, I think. So this is going to be enough in just a moment for this shape over here. We just need a few more. And that should speed up the production of the final shape a lot more. Yeah. So now we cut off that supply. And then these get merged together. Okay. I like how this game is relatively simplistic, but then still has like a very nice level of difficulty. It's kind of sweet. So that shape is no longer necessary here at the moment. We should probably get this one, to be honest. That one's pretty easy. Although I, I need two different, uh, two different lines that I don't currently have. Oh, wait. I have a full one right over here with exactly what I need for one of the objective shapes. So I just have to stack this right now with a circle. A full circle. And we should be good. I will spaghetti it around the map. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then we build a couple of stackers over here. And that should allow me... What I'm looking for, right? So that should give me this item that I need for one of the assignments. Oh, a shape goal has been completed. That's good. I will go ahead and destroy this one right over here. So we get more of a supply for the final shape. That should speed things up. Now, where was I? <laughs> uh, over here, over here, over here. Okay. Maybe I should have finished this up first. There we go. There we go. That should be a pretty fast one. I feel like all these side quests are kind of nice to add into the mix. But yeah, focusing on the main milestone seems to make a lot more sense for sure. So do you keep on locking new objectives every time? Look at this. This is also some weird shit, dude. Look at that. A very hard shape. Only for tough second time operators. All right. Okay. We get some more points. And then for six, which is the final one. I need to add a little bit more. We need to add a half. Um, where am I building this, dude? Holy shit. It's not even that my base is that big, but I've already forgotten where everything goes. Uh, this is all going well over there. Okay. 
I guess this is the easiest way to spot it. To go to the center and look at the red crosses. Which tells me what I don't need. Um, so for the previous shape... Okay. Cut this off over here. I need to add a little bit more on top of this. We need to add another half of these things. Right over here. What's going on, sysadmin? How are you doing today? Good morning. Okay. I need brain safe points? Yeah, 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 that'd be nice. This is it. And then if we stack these two together. We should find ourselves with the item we need. The only problem is that I don't have space over here. <laughs> okay. More spaghetti to solve the spaghetti. Perfect. Remember that vouch I had to make at the beginning of the game about not using spaghetti? Me neither. Is that the shape? No. My shape is too elaborate. That is not the correct shape. This is Ruru Cuckoo Ruru Cuckoo. This is something else entirely, man. This is Cuckoo Ruru Cuckoo Cuckoo Ruru. Wait, is this just the wrong way around? Oh, it's the wrong way around. It's the wrong way around. That's the only thing we need to change. The panic is no longer, Chet. It's okay, it's okay. Everybody stay calm. I know you're all freaking out. It's okay, it's okay. This should be the correct shape. There it is. Okay, it's a bit of a mess, and I'm only making it uglier, but the end result is all that matters. Nobody panicked, Loco. Everybody was panicking. I can see sysadmin in the chat. He's sitting on the edge of his seat. He can barely contain himself. Calm down, sysadmin. It's okay. Look, we're getting stuff. We're getting stuff. You were typing SH? Don't do it! No SH! It means shut down, sysadmin. Come on, man. Entire factories have been laid low because people wrote SH. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about anchors. I should do that. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Thank you for reminding me. This is getting oddly personal. What? I'm just warning everybody. For the dangers of writing SH in the chat. So what I should have done is taken one row at a time. Rather than like fucking winging it and just putting up the entire box of everything. Because I decided to go for the first one of every single one of them, but that was not very clever. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a progression on the previous shape. Every additional step goes a lot faster. So we can, for example, aim for this one over here. Which is the same as the previous one, except an extra layer on top. Um, which is this one right over here. And then we add more circles to it. Why 
More spaghetti. Everybody loves spaghetti. Everybody. Okay, and then I gotta get more... More of an input over here of circles. Is there a fresh circle line somewhere? I think there is, dude. This entire segment over here is no longer useful. There's gotta be a free circle somewhere. I've only been playing- Oh, dude! I've only been playing this for a few hours up to this point. I've already mastered the game, sysadmin. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Flawless factory design. Anywhere I go. No spaghetti. Hardcore efficiency. Is all that's going on here. Even the Germans in the chat watching were like, Also, also, also. Hammergeil. Yeah, it was very kind. And then they said genau. Yeah, it's so efficient it hurts your eyes. It is beautiful, isn't it? No, it's pretty ugly. It's pretty ugly, but it works. Okay. So that's this shape done. Which means that we can start making this shape go in there over instead. Okay. I like how when I give up on spaghetti, I just throw it out of the window. Or when I give up on efficiency, rather, I just throw it out of the window and just immediately make it much worse. Okay, so that should be this shape right over here. We should see a little one. Yep. 460 of those bad boys. Oh yeah, you can deliver from a race belt. I knew that. I already found that out and then I apparently forgot about it within about five seconds. Oh, the spaghetti is horrible. It's going real bad, Barnacle, in that department, but I'm doing okay. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. You finished your- you submitted your last task for composition. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I don't know what kind of composition, but I hope it goes well. This is basically Filipino spaghetti, which is spaghetti with hot dogs in it. That sounds delicious. Anything is better with mystery meat. <laughs> I, I like I like my food with mystery meats. Okay, so that should be this one, right over here. Yo, our Naren! Hilo Zoo. Spaghetti Low Wave Low Milo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the 47 months. Appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the stream, by the way, don't forget to hit the follow button. I stream almost every day. I stream every day except the days I don't stream. Okay, nice. An IT comp, so reviews and write-ups of business applications from a cybersecurity standpoint. 
That sounds pretty nerdy, dude. Not gonna lie, Echo. Write-up of business applications from a cybersecurity standpoint. Did you mention copy-pasting your password into a chat? <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to give up on this. I'm gonna have to keep bringing this up. Cybersecurity expert accidentally copy pasted his password in Twitch chat. <laughs> I saw it quickly and I instantly deleted the message. I was like, this is this is a weird message to be writing. It was a great password too, I remember it. <laughs> it had all the characteristic signs. You know, like back in the day when you were asked to make your password more powerful, right? And they're like, okay, please make your password more secure. And all of us added an, a, a one at the very end. And then a couple years later, they were like, please also use special characters. And everybody added an exclamation point. So literally every single password for many, many years just ended with one exclamation point. A beautiful time. Yeah. Also, the only thing that matters with passwords is password length, okay? Length does not mean everything in every instance, but length is where it's at. More characters equals better. You added XXX underscore? Ooh, that's a very runescape username. More factors equals better? Yeah, I guess more available characters is also nice, but just more characters adds so much more. You like my belts? My belts are horrible, Bluetooth. It's really ugly. I am looking forward to finishing the tutorial of the game and starting from a clean slate. Because this is... Uh this is something. It's something. Is 18 characters too many? No, 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 no. Look, there's this, there's a, a great example actually, okay? Type a password. So you can do like one character, very weak, right? So this is Hunter1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically, more characters equals better. This would take about 115 million trillion years. So if you can enter a password that has 100 characters, it is very useful. Okay, the alphabet is not a very strong password. Oh, four hours. Anyways. Okay. We got another shape done. Six points. I'm going to immediately upgrade if I can. A bent stacker. Stacks the top shape of the bottom shape and outputs to the side. What? Stacks the top shape on the bottom shape and outputs to the side. Okay, I feel like outputting to the side is something I might want at some point, but... A corner stacker. Yeah, that's basically what it is. All of these are luxuries. I'll unlock something when I get when I need it. The cutter is useful. Cutter and swapper seem useful. Okay, we'll get a cutter. I'll have to get a cutter at some point. I'll make it for this one too, sis. Cutter? I... No. 
Okay. We could get a third floor as well for more spaghetti. I feel like there's too much spaghetti. Oh, I was wondering, by the way, can I put like stackers on the second floor? No. I think that's just for conveyor belts. Yeah, my map is very ugly though, Confused Peach. When you left, it was still somewhat optimal. Nobody would ever call any of this optimal anymore. Oh wait, no, this one does have to go out. Even though it's technically locked, yeah. There's no such thing as too much spaghetti. You can if you have a third floor, since the stacker is two floors high. Oh, I see. Like, oh, sorry if this is backseating, but I would definitely add garlic. Garlic and spaghetti are a classic combination, yeah. One of the greatest bits of advice I can give you is when you're making pasta, just add more garlic. Very rarely is something too garlicky. Just make sure you don't, you know, eat it before you go to work. <laughs> Very much so an evening type of food. <laughs> what if I don't like garlic? Whoa, whoa. That's like saying you don't like salt. You hallucinate when you eat garlic? Okay. Garlic is delicious. Salt is also very good. What about sugar, Hartnepper? Do you like sugar? Do you hate sugar too? Maybe Hartnepper is actually just a, a vampire. Yeah. Oh, you like sugar. Okay, okay. Sugar, salt, and garlic are kind of overpowered. You once ate a raw onion like an apple? You can eat an onion like an apple. I don't recommend it, but it's possible. You can eat onion raw. I think. It's very common in, in the Netherlands with fish in particular. Raw fish. A lot of raw onion. Yeah, the white onion? Yeah, you can do that. I think. Whoa, what if vampires actually love garlic, but they pretend to hate it? So when they suck our blood, we're already marinated? That is my favorite conspiracy I've heard in a while. Vampires actually love garlic. They're just trying to get humans to eat a lot of garlic to fight off. Oh, that is there's several layers to this conspiracy theory. Yeah, great stuff. Alrighty, space platform rewards everything. <laughs> Jesus, Echo. No, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Too far, man. Space platforms. You've proven some basic skills, so we think you're ready for this. You may now build space platforms and foundations to expand in the universe. For these ones, though, we've added a platform limit. I mean, we're not insane, right? Allows you to expand into space. More building space for your factory. Transports shapes below other platforms only works in a straight path. Okay. Once completing the last milestone, you will be rewarded with your operator certification. As a proud owner of the certification, you can now start working on a real factory and earn us some shapes. Your progress is transferred, including buildings and unlocked upgrades. Okay. You can assign blueprints and bl yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. 
I think I'm just gonna unlock these shapes that I have got going right now. Because I would like to delete everything. I would love to unlock the things that I'm currently working towards. But then we delete everything else. Yeah. Before we get promoted. I just need uh, 130 more of these things. They should come in pretty fast now. Um, I don't know if there's any... The bottleneck is mostly the stuff over here, but that should be okay soon. That should go quite a bit quicker. Okay. We're gonna cut this off too, so that should also speed it up a bit. Ooh. Whoa, what? If I hit O? It shows me the entire... Com yeah, so this is this is the problem with my factory at the moment, dude. It is one of the most suboptimal <laughs> setups ever. But you can see the entire line that is affected by this? Mate, this game is really well refined. This is early access? No, it doesn't clear it. I can see what what is affected by it all. So I can see the amount of buildings. Apparently is 548 different buildings that are part of this segment. 438 conveyor belts, 33 stackers, 24 extractors. Actually kind of insane, dude. Very cool. Okay, so this is definitely speeding up the progression quite a bit right now. We seem to have a... Uh... I'm gonna get six points for this. So could I do this as well for something that I no longer use? Like for example, this one. So if I select, for example, I don't know, this shape over here. I can delete this entire segment. Whoa. Sick. That's really nice. That's a really good quality of life feature. And I can bring it back again with control Z. Oh. Control Z, Control S, Control C, Control V. Control Y? Wait, what's Control Y? I can undo my redo with Control Y? Huge. <laughs> I can redo my undo. Yeah. <laughs> no, Control A does not work. I tried that already. I thought Control A, but that doesn't work. Look how fast it's going now. No old army hotkey for this game. No, true. Oh, sorry. I hit my mic. We're throwing a bunch of frisbees out into the, uh, the abyss. I'm putting the frizz in abyss. Bit of a stretch there. <laughs> I apologize. Unlock. Very nice. Alright. Get rid of all of these. We no longer need those pinned. I'm gonna have a look at my milestones. I have upgrades that I can get now. I think I should probably save up for the swapper. And I know what you're thinking. Swapper? I just... No. Okay. Select the factory. So, once completing the last milestone, you will be rewarded with your operator certification. Your progress is transferred, right. So I can do either normal or hard. This looks absolutely horrid. What the fuck even is this? What am I even looking at, dude? This is a fidget spinner over here, while in motion. No, I'm gonna play a normie factory. Safe for everyone and recommended for first time operators. You will not be able to switch the factory environment after your choice, but you can start a new game. All right, we'll do normal.
I think this is where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. We're gonna save it here. But I feel like I've done pretty, pretty well so far. I mean, other than the fact that it looks absolutely terrible. I may actually end up deleting everything tomorrow and just start from a clean slate. But then with all of the stuff I've unlocked so far. I think that's a fun way of doing it. Um, so I got started with this game a couple days ago. And I'm only about maybe two, three-ish hours in so far. I don't want to flex or anything. I have finished the tutorial. But it's been a blast. I've been really liking it. One thing I don't like, though, is this abomination of a first thing that I have put together. I really don't like any of this. Yeah, I think I have my certification. It, uh... Oh, God. Fluids? Okay, anyways, I got my uh, my space platforms unlocked, and I think with that you get your, uh, your certification. Now, I don't really understand how this works. Place a shape miner to extract shapes. You can also chain extensions. Oh, my stream category did not update. Did it now? I hope it did now. Um, let me see. Um, yep. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so place a shape miner to extract shapes. You can also chain extensions to increase the throughput. Okay, I don't know what this is. What does that mean? So, milestone four. So, basically what the game asks you to do is send these resources to the center of the vortex. So, there's this, like, uh, this, this vortex rudder going around. Not vortex, that's a pro gamer. Um, I have to, like, combine the different shapes into... Well, ultimately this, right over here. So I don't quite understand. I have a little compass over here. Can I now use these other assigned tools? Like, how do I... Do I mine these? These guys are blue. Would it be really dumb for me to destroy everything that I have so far? I really want to start from a blank slate if I can. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just delete everything. Can I delete? Yeah. Yeah, we just we just delete all of the all of the stuff. Get all of this stuff out of here. Um I can hit like I think shift. There you go. And we select the whole platform and then we hit delete. Oh. Look at that. A clean slate. Let's just say that I um, I vouched to both the game as well as Twitch chat that I wasn't going to be any spaghetti. And there was a lot of spaghetti. There was a ton of spaghetti. It was all over the place. Okay, so a shape miner. I don't understand how this works. Place a shape miner to extract shapes. Okay. So I can put them on the circle or I can put them on the square. Okay, so is that now a blue one? Wait, what? Hold up. Did the other ones just disappear because of it? Where were the ones that were just here? I think I may be able to choose which ones I want. Now, these were already here, right? Didn't I already have those? Do they chain them? Oh yeah, interesting. So we already had these different shape miners just like that. So I can use those to harvest the circles and then also the squares. You can also chain extensions to increase the throughput. Oh, I deleted those specific platforms too. I didn't realize I could delete those platforms itself. I didn't realize that those were deletable. So I can also use them over here, I guess. So this one has a bunch of blue on it. What does that mean? Maybe these are only diagonal blues? Connect up to three shape miner extensions. 
to the shape miner to activate all the extraction spots. What? Oh no 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 that's not that's not what it is. So I have another thing over here called a shape miner extension. I don't know what they do. Oh, so I only have one of the four thingies now unlocked on that thing. So now there's four of them. I see. Okay. Then what? Space belts work like regular belt, belts rather and except at a much larger scale. Oh, so I can build a belt to my original setup? So where do I send them to? Can I send them in over here on the edge? Does that make them... How do I... I accidentally messed it up. Space belt? You can place tunnels to route space belts below other platforms. Gotcha. No, I just wanna... I don't, I don't want to have it connecting over there. How do I... <laughs> I don't know how to delete it. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that is now connected with my main area. So what do I get for mining these then? I can get an extractor. 